During the 1970s, members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, also known as LGBT community, were seen as a menace to society by the social conservatives of the time. Harvey Milk, one of the first openly gay politicians, took a stand and changed history by firstly being elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors and opposing Proposition 6, an act that would have mandated the firing of gay teachers in California public schools. This resulted in changes in the public opinion. Milk was important in advancing the gay rights movement. Harvey Milk was born in Woodmere, New York on May 22, 1930. His parents were of Lithuanian descent, and he had one brother. His family was devoutly Jewish, founding a Jewish synagogue. They also owned a department store named Milks. Harvey became aware that he was gay as a student at Bayshore High School. There, he was widely involved with many different activities, such as football and opera. Milk became involved in politics during the 1960s and 1970s, after being angered by the Watergate scandal. He also protested against the Vietnam War. In the years leading up to Milk's political career, LGBT people were viewed by many as pedophiles, societal outcasts, and rapists. Police kept an unjustifiably close eye on gay rights activists because they thought of them so lowly. The gay rights movement started to pick up speed in the 1960s. One event, known as the Stonewall Riots, was an early example of mainstream American gay rights protesting. Early in the morning of June 28, 1969, police raided the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village, New York. It was a popular gay bar owned by the Mafia. Although the police did have legal reasons to raid the bar, as, among other things, they were serving liquor without a license, the New York gay community saw this as an act of police brutality. They believed that the police were unfairly targeting the gay community. A riot broke out and some individuals in the crowd started throwing things at the police officers. Three years later, in 1972, Harvey Milk moved to San Francisco. While not directly involved in the riots, the Stonewall riots undoubtedly affected him and influenced his involvement in politics. At this time, sexual relationships between gay individuals were illegal in every state except for Illinois. Homosexuality was still thought by many to be a mental illness. A clip from the 1961 Sid Davis short film, Boys Beware, further shows this derogatory ideology. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, a person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. Milk ran for the San Francisco Board of Supervisors for his first time in 1973. Even though he lost, Milk garnered support from some of San Francisco's younger gay population. He finished 10th in a 32-candidate bid. Harvey ran again in 1975, narrowly losing. Despite early hardships and political losses, Harvey persevered, finally winning his third attempt in the race to be a San Francisco supervisor. Milk was inaugurated on January 9, 1978. During his time in office, he opposed Proposition 6, which is also known as the Briggs Initiative, allowing gay teachers in public schools to keep their jobs. Milk fought for federal equality for LGBT people. He passed a gay rights ordinance prohibiting discrimination in employment and housing based off of sexual orientation. Milk also created plans to have the police department in San Francisco hire more gay and lesbian police officers. These initiatives helped improve the social inequality prevalent during the time. Harvey wanted to end federal and social discrimination against those who were lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. However, Milk's life and legacy is not without controversy. Some journalists, such as political commentator Matt Barber, believe Milk not to be a civil rights hero, but a glorified sexual offender. There may be validity to some of the controversy. Milk reportedly was known to have sexual relationships with boys who weren't at the age of consent. While this is obviously wrong, it is difficult not to argue that Milk was a great person in many other ways. 
Harvey Milk also worked to help others who weren't gay. Over the course of his tragically short political career, he was able to create daycares for working parents. He was an advocate of other minority groups. Milk also converted old military buildings into low-cost housing units for those who couldn't afford expensive housing, specifically seniors and the poor. Working with the mayor of San Francisco, Milk made efforts to improve roads and traffic infrastructure. These efforts started to take off during his short term and continued to grow later through his legacy. Milk was never ashamed of who he was. He prompted other gay people to not be ashamed either. He always looked forward with his head held high unafraid. Milk said, Without hope, not only the gays, but the blacks, the seniors, the poor, the handicapped, the us's give up. Milk was a trailblazer as one of the first openly gay politicians. He has been followed by many other gay politicians and progressive men and women who work towards the goal of improving all citizens' quality of life and making legal representation just for all. A high school has been named after Milk. In 2009, Harvey was awarded a posthumous Presidential Medal of Freedom, the United States' highest civilian honor. There are now laws prohibiting discrimination based off of sexual orientation, and gay marriage has now been made legal. Every year, some even observe May 22nd as Harvey Milk Day, to celebrate his contributions to gay rights, and a life filled with advocacy for the downtrodden. A life that would be tragically cut short by his assassination. On November 17, 1978, Dan White, a former member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, snuck through a window in the San Francisco City Hall basement. He did this to avoid metal detectors that were at official entrances. Angry over a disagreement with the mayor of San Francisco, George Moscone, he went to Moscone's office and killed him with a Smith & Wesson 38 caliber revolver. He then walked to Milk's office and fatally shot him a total of seven times. White turned himself in at the local police station. Later that night, thousands of people held a candlelight vigil in the honor of Milk and Moscone. It has been described as one of the most eloquent responses to violence that a community has ever expressed. Dan White was exonerated of charges of murder and instead given a short sentence for voluntary manslaughter. This was partially caused by a defense from White's supporters and defenders, which was informally referred to as the Twinkie defense. It stated that White was not able to be held accountable for his crimes, as he had recently eaten too much junk food. Citizens were outraged, and in an act known as the White Knight Riots, stormed City Hall and set cars on fire. Milk is often considered a martyr for gay rights. He pushed for economic and political equality through his legislation and social change through his moving speeches. In his famous You've Got to Have Hope speech, which was delivered during his third attempt for office, Milk states why he persevered and kept running for election. He said, I'm running for public office because I think it's time we've had a legislator who was gay and proud of that fact and one who will not walk away from the responsibilities that face such a legislator. Is a person sensitive to the needs of people. His legacy lives on through his nephew Stuart Milk, who co-founded the Milk Foundation. Stuart tours around the world spreading the message of equality that Harvey carried. Stuart appreciates his uncle's large advancements in the field of gay rights, but still believes that there is more that needs to be done. Stuart said, Harvey's election was, for him, a beginning, a chance to make a real change. That change is happening, but we still have so far to go. Harvey Milk took a stand in history by being one of the first openly gay politicians elected. Milk was key in opposing discriminatory legislation while also passing new laws that gave more equal representation to the LGBT community. He eventually bettered the lives of all people through the long-term effects of his city legislation and ordinances. This helped lead to changes in the public opinion. Milk was a trailblazer in the gay rights movement. His legacy is a source of strength for all who value equality for the LGBT community.